Hello everyone and welcome back to the Blue Brazil. I've now done quite a lot of games off camera. I've tweaked the formation slightly again and we've actually gotten some really good results. So first of all I'll go through over the formation tweaks. I've changed the wing backs to full backs. Um, I think defensively again uh, the wing backs just weren't really helping out. Plus at this level the crossing and that for wing backs just isn't really going to happen. So I've changed the full backs to kind of be more defensive and to be honest it's really worked. Um, uh, the rest of it hasn't really changed, uh, there's been a few tweaks to the overall tactics instead of the overlaps, it's just focus playing the wings and then shoot on sight. And that's really it. Um, but you'll, some of you may have noticed that there's a massive uh, uh, admittance from the team and that is uh, Robbie Buchanan. He has been sold, well I say sold, he's uh, been, he's left on a free because uh, he was, his contract was nearly up anyway and it turned out, I completely forgot about this, he was actually on the most wages of all my players, he was on £200 uh, per week, which uh, to be honest once the offers came in and I found out that's what wage he was on, I, I had to let him go because although he gave us a good uh, run of form at the start of the season, he just dropped away and hasn't given me anything ever since, so uh, I let him go which has allowed me, which has given me some uh, wage budget which has been really good. So all I've done just now really is sign some youngsters for the reserves who are not far from uh, first team but are uh, like good potential and maybe next season or even the season after that will be first team players but are also very good backups at the same time. So that's really all I've done. Um, the, the show me if we go into transfers. Not really yet. Um, if I just go to the reserves and try and show we've got Kieran Dow just as a midfielder um, option Kyle Sneddon can play anywhere along the defence which is good really good potential as well who else just trying to think Ross Pollock as well play along the back four uh, don't even know how to say that name Wallace good goalkeeper just because I feel like we need a bit more depth in goalkeeper Kieran Connolly really good uh, midfield option as well. I, just, I re really kind of focused on midfielders mainly because we only have three really good midfielders so hopefully these guys can come in as and when required. And good news is uh, we've now got a senior affiliate. Um, asked them again, turns out it is three months you can ask so I asked them again and this time I didn't even need to argue my case. Uh, they, they said, but from the first time I'm asking, yes we'll get that, we agree. So, my affiliate is now Aberdeen in the Premiership, which is really good because uh, usually when you're in the, the lower league teams, um, your senior affiliate is usually in the Championship for some reason, so I'm very lucky to get Aberdeen. So that's 23, just under 24 grand a year, plus any money I get from hosting a friendly with them, and I get their loanies for free. I've, uh, I'm just in the middle of actually scouting their uh, young team. Um, I've got a few of them scouted already. Ideally, oh, I don't want tactics. Ideally, I want a right winger to replace Buchanan, who's left. Um, although I've got people who can play there, there's only really one person who can play there just now, and that is McKenzie. Um, he's just the same, or just a wee bit better than Buchanan, actually, so um, he's, he's good, but it'd be nice to get a wee bit of cover, because right now, I think the only cover I have is this Kyle Miller guy. He can play in both flanks, but ideally, he's only really a midfielder, and he's also not that good so I'm going to scout them out and see what happens. Apart from that, um, I think a youngster left who didn't really play for me, wasn't really going to play for me anyway. Apart from that, that's really the only transfers. Uh, I'm going to try and get a couple more youngsters in just because the youth setup here is rubbish so I doubt we'll get any decent youngsters in in the youth intake in a couple months time. So I'll probably get a couple more youngsters in on three and maybe get a couple of loanies in from Aberdeen. But I'll cover that in the, the next episode. I think I'll make him a super keeper defender instead. Um, so we're now up. Uh, oh, I should probably show you the, the schedule actually. So the last game was the win against Stranraer. Then we lost to do one to Stenhouse Muir, which is really frustrating because it's the same tactic. So I thought that playing the same tactic against Stranraer against a team in my own division would actually perform well, and it didn't. We got pumped. So um, that was it was after that game I changed the, the wing backs to full backs. And then we pulled off 1 0 victory against Queen's Park. It was a very close game, but we 
we had the most chances despite it being close everywhere else wise. Then 1-0 uh, against Ann and Sterling, we were quite lucky actually to just be 0-0 with them, we didn't really play that well. And then Cove Rangers 2-1 win, Albion Rovers, we were very unlucky not to win that game actually, we had a couple 7.0 performances, although granted when your goalkeeper's having a, a good game it means they are getting more chances on target. And then the last game, out of nowhere, 5-1 win against Elgin. Um, where are Elgin in the league actually? Oh, well, they're second bottom, so I suppose we should beat them, but I was, wasn't expecting a 5-1 win. We were very unfortunate not to keep a clean sheet in that game. So now we're up against Rangers, which is going to be really difficult. Um, I've, I've had a look at their tactics and um, they're not surprising to be honest, but they're playing a few people out of position. Oh no, not now, so Hadji is really good, Canberry, which is interesting when you've got Morelos and Defoe in the team, so I wonder if it's just because of a cup game they're taking the side. Callback is one of their signings, he's a very interesting, he's on loan from Newcastle, why he's playing left back when he's a defensive mid, I don't know, but there you go. Kalander Henson are very good centre halves, I mean, to be honest, this is very much a, a B plus side, so it's going to be a really difficult game, but if we can pull off uh, a victory, cause an upset or uh, something like that, it'll be good, but I doubt it. It's, hopefully this is more just a money maker. I'm going to quickly do this from the outset, because that seems to be helping me a lot, showing the, the attacking players onto their weaker foots. Um, so yeah, uh, looking at, we looked at Rangers in the last episode and their form's not that good. They're still in second place but they're still quite a ways behind Celtic unfortunately. Um, I think Rangers have got a wee bit to go before they can properly challenge anyway as I hit my mic again. And there you go, it didn't take long, although 10 minutes before they scored. Um, aye, so um, looking at our... Uh, the, what we've been able to do since the last episode with the signings we've made, losing Buchanan and they get the senior affiliate. I think the reason our board have allowed us to get the senior affiliate is because our form's improved. Although we've not like went on a winning streak, we did go on a 5-6 game streak where we didn't lose. It was like a bunch of draws and a couple wins. I think because of that, that put us just under the playoff positions. And then that 5-1 win against Elgin put us into the playoff positions. I wonder if that's the reason the board are now allowing us to get the senior affiliate without questioning it, they see that we're performing better. So hopefully, with a few low knees from uh, Aberdeen, we can push on. I reckon we're probably, even if we manage to stay in the player positions in League 2, I don't see us like, getting promoted. And to be honest, I don't think we should get promoted. Uh, Jody was a fantastic player. Um, yeah, I don't see us getting promoted and I don't really want us to because as soon as we get promoted we're immediately in a more defensive formation and tactic than we already are. I feel like we, we need to spend another season in League 2, build up a couple of the young team which have just signed, um, get a few loanies from Aberdeen to help us get there and then we'll be in a better position for uh, League 1 football because as stands, it looks like Caffrey's going to go. He's had a few offers from uh, a championship side and it's wages that I just can't compete with, so it looks like he's going to go. Which means we still have Alan, uh, who's equal uh, ability player, but I'd rather keep Caffrey because he's been really good. Um, you weren't that bad, I believe in you. you weren't that bad. I mean, it's, we're only losing 2-0, so I reckon what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the cap tactic the same, try not to concede any more until... Uh, maybe the 60 minute mark and then I'm just going to try to go, go all attack, see if we can grab a goal or two. I mean it probably plays into their hands if we go attacking but I'll, I'll keep it the same just for the time being because 2-0 against this against Rangers is actually not a bad result. They should be thumping us something off them. Um, we've only really got one player so having a decent game. <laughs> um, a few more minutes, oh that's not good. Can we, can we, oh, fantastic, we actually managed to get a goal, go back. Uh, I wasn't expecting that at all, considering we're still uncautious, but that was a poor kick out from Fodrin over there, that was entirely his fault, straight to us, counter attack, cross in, goal. Right, there were 60 minutes in, 
Barry, I'm sorry, but you're just you're not cutting cutting it, you're not cutting it. Box to box, you don't need to be soft tackles anymore. Bell system performing well. Mackenzie, Thomas. Mackenzie, I don't really have <laughs> I don't really have a right winger yet. Uh, Swan's not playing very well. Put on Valentine. Thomas may as well bring in one of the youngsters. He's actually not that bad. Oh, he's only one and a half stars. He's actually not that bad. Um, and then I'll leave it at that. See if we can get another goal. Because we got that goal back, I'm going to leave it. Because uh, it seemed to work into our hands, that, that counter-attack. Um, but as soon as we get to maybe 20, 15 minutes left, I'll... Uh, oof. Going, going all by himself to have an ear there. Uh, I'll put it up to attacking. Jones, that's not good. He's a pretty good winger as well. Right. Let's go very attacking. Get creative. Oof, that would have been awful if I'd been attacking and they just scored again. <laughs> Let's see if we can't cause an upset or at least take it to penalties. Or a replay, actually. I'm pretty sure, actually. If there was a replay and we got it at Rangers ground, oh, that'd be class. That would make us so much money. 50,000 seater stadium. Doesn't look like it all times getting away from us. Still getting away from us. I think they're just too good a side, to be honest. Oh, we've got a wee chance here, though. Can we do anything with it? Ah, it was a bit of a lucky chance if that went in, really, to be honest. Another highlight, though, in our favour by the looks of things. And, of course, <laughs> they win the ball back. Oh, well, in saying that, oh, flipping X going in here. Is he off? No, it's just a heel. But it matters, this is the last pick of the game, let's see if we can just keep it out, keep it respectable, 2-1. Yeah, it's 2-1. Oh well, to be honest, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that performance. We uh, managed to score a goal, we made them fight for it, and to be honest, against the Premiership side, we should be losing that game 4 or 5 now, so 8k for that performance in the Cup, which is really good. Small money in the bank. Um, I was hoping that I was going to get an email from the board saying that I was going to get a revised, well not a revised transfer budget, but a revised wage budget anyway because of the, the cup competitions, we've got a wee bit of money in the bank now. A wee bit more money in the bank now because we're up to 40 grand, which is good. Um, but it doesn't look like it, so I'm just going to have to keep it within the wage budget. So I've got, me realistically I've got another £100 per week to spend on the wage budget, so I'll probably try and find a... A couple more youngsters, if that Caffrey goes, that goes up again, so I'll need another striker. Which is plenty of on a free actually. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at the schedule. Uh, oh, he doesn't like me apparently. The Bohemians went to the Caffrey. End of contract. I can't really do anything about that because I've, I've already tried to get Caffrey, but he, he didn't want the... He doesn't know the wage, he's only in 40 pounds per week to be fair and the, the best that I can do is 140 and he's getting offered like 240 so I, I just can't compete with that. He's a really good player, but sorry to see him go, but at least we've still got Jordan Allen who is, uh, where is he? Allen's still a pretty good player, he's equal, equal talent and paying him a pretty good wage so if he goes then we've still got him to back up and I'll just need to get a, a backup striker. Like I say, there's actually quite a few people who are not with anybody at the moment. Um, so I'll probably look to bring one of them in. They're all poachers, which is a bit annoying. I'd prefer to have something a wee bit different, but it is what it is. Um, so let's have a look at the schedule then. So I'll probably... When does the transfer window end, actually? Does it say? Uh, transfers. No. Skipped. No, it doesn't say. Well, what I'll probably do is I'll see where the transfer window ends, which will probably be in a few weeks or the end of a couple of weeks into February. And if there's any more major transfers, if Caffrey goes and I need to bring someone else in, then I'll, I'll get onto that. If not, I'll maybe just play. If there's nothing major, I'll probably just play until the end of February and then we'll come back for live comms against Albion Rovers. And that's what we'll do then. Right, until then, I shall see you guys next time.